and I am from OM Tech Laser. We are here located in our showroom in Southern California. And in this video, we will go over how to replace your laser power supply. So before you start this procedure, you need to make sure that your machine is turned off and that the power supply cable has been disconnected at least 30 minutes prior before your replacement. This will reduce any shock hazard. The tools that you would need for this job will be a Phillips screwdriver, wire strippers, 440 electrical tape, and wire cutters. You can find your laser power supply on the right side panel of the machine under the electrical components panel. You can open this door by pulling on this latch and then twisting it up. This other door has other buttons here that you have to press in order to unlock the door. You can find your laser power supply here. It will be identified because it has this digital display and it says laser power. Towards the bottom of the laser power supply, you will find two green port connections. One will be a three pin and the other will be a six pin. Make sure you disconnect these before you unscrew the laser power supply. Next, you will have to identify your red power cable connection and your grounding cable. The red power connection has a bulb connection that you can just unscrew. The grounding cable, you would have to find the connection area and trim it from there. The next step will be unscrewing the laser power supply from the frame of the body. You will find two Phillips screws on each side of the power supply. After you have mounted the laser power supply back into the machine's frame with the four screws on each, on each corner, you will then reconnect the two green ports at the bottom of the laser power supply. You will then reconnect the bulb connections for the red power cables, and then you would connect the grounding cables together again. Now, ideally, you would want to solder the grounding cables together, but if not, you could strip the wire, twist the, the exposed wire, and then just secure them with electrical tape. Once you have properly connected both your power cables and your grounding cables, you can then turn on your machine. Your digital power supply should turn on. Make sure you have your water chiller on or your water pump connected, and then you could test pose the machine. 